All right guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and mess with the intake air temperatures and see if we can kind of lower our IATs. So most of you already kind of know about this mod already. It's like the stock air box where they drill holes into the inlet air ducts front that feeds the stock uh, air box. I'm gonna attempt to do that today. Most of the videos that I've seen, they usually don't really compare like IATs or it's kind of just like word of mouth. I'm gonna try to do some real world examples of just normal driving and accelerating using the cop access port here just to kind of get like a little bit of a general idea to see if it actually will go ahead and make a difference. So follow along with that. I'm heating up the car right now, but we're gonna take it for a quick run. Right now, everything is factory airbox, just a drop-in filter with MST inlet silicone hose and inlet pipe. So just your typical stock modified airbox, nothing else done to it. We're gonna test it out like that. And then we're gonna come back, take off that inlet air duct, drill some holes on there, pop it back in, do another test run and see if our IATs will drop a little bit quicker. I'm kind of curious about this myself because I've been researching about it and trying to learn more. Couldn't seem to find anything that's really like promising. A lot of people say, yeah, it helps. Other people's like, no, it doesn't. And the rain and blah, blah, blah. Where I live in the West Coast, I uh, don't get too much rain. So that isn't really a concern for me. So I was like, you know what, might as well. It's just a little thin piece of plastic. It shouldn't hurt anything. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're about 183 degrees, so it is at operating temperature. Now we're gonna go ahead and kind of uh, start the trial here and see where we're at uh, when it comes to our IATs and cooling. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off AC. So here we are at the red light. See the intake temperatures increase a little bit, start to creep up. Green light, let's go. outside is 83 our lowest was 91 um, during that small little pull there i can probably do one more just to double check and get like a good comparison let's try it again yeah and go. all right so the lowest point we hit was 93 and then early before that it was 91 so it's about 10 to 12 degrees over ambient, which is currently 82. This is also including that I have a CTS front mount intercooler mounted up. It seems about right. You know, usually about like 10, maybe sometimes 15 degrees above ambient is where you'll see your IETs with the front mount intercooler. In my case, this has been kind of about like 10 to 12 degrees above usually when it's cooler you can drop down a little bit below that now let's go ahead and head back and remove that air duct and add some drilled holes in there
All right, guys, so we are back inside the car with the uh, drilled inlet holes, air scoop, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to test it out now. The temperature kind of went down just a tiny bit. As you can see there, it is currently 80 degrees um, ambient, which is just about like two to three degrees where we're at before. So um, just a slight, slight cool down. We are in first gear. Second gear. degrees where we're at before so I'm just a slight slight cool down we are in first gear second gear third off throttle see any difference And final thoughts. So what can we say about the inlet drill mod on the Mark 7 GTI? Well, if you're to compare both before and after videos here, it seems that on average, the temperature would drop just about 13 degrees under normal and uh, full throttle. Now after the drill mod, that number increased to about 16 degrees. So intake air temperatures were lower just a slight bit, although I do know that the outside air temperature was also slightly cooler just about two to three degrees i tried to keep this video and the test runs during the same type of day same humidity same weather overall to try to get like the best comparison for you guys it does seem like it makes a minimal difference now if you're looking to max out gains and probably you know might as well do it but this isn't something that I'm going to recommend that needs to be done. Does it help? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. One thing I would feel like it would help with a lot more is if you have a aftermarket intake, especially like an open intake, you can get that direct airflow to that filter and um, just kind of have fun with that. It is a pretty easy mod, so obviously I would, you know, say if you have the extra time and you're feeling a little bit bored, you want to tinker with the car a little bit, this is something very simple and uh, low risk you can kind of mess around with. Again, some people might wonder if it's, you know, very risky in like heavy rain, snow, stuff like that. I can't vouch if it is or it isn't, but, you know, I would say that it it's just a simple mod. It's kind of like, a, yeah, why not? One thing I will notice is that uh, even though I feel like it's roughly about the same. I feel like school time kind of dropped on just a tiny bit. It feels like it kicks me back in my seat just a little bit sooner than I anticipate or what I'm used to. So just something to know. The uh, outside air temperature isn't that much different. So it doesn't really affect uh, IATs as much, but there is more air, like more air volume that's being sucked in. So I believe that's probably why it's pulling up that turbo just a little bit quicker. Yeah.